They think we have food. That's why they come running. He's actually not bad. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Please disregard my hair. I'm having a shower tonight, and we all better tomorrow for tomorrow's show. How did the lights get left on in the barn? Dad. Dad. He's always getting us in trouble. So it is already past noon. We've been out a lot today. Sam found this box that somebody was giving away. And he asked me if I wanted it. And I said yes, because I love boxes. You so he's gonna, I can, I can, I can, I can just, I can just put a liner in it, Sophie. Where show this? Anyways, I can use it for grain. I can use it, there's so many things I can it's use it for. All right. <laughs> So he's like, stop talking about boxes. Let's see if the horses are inside. You guys, remind me that I set these in here so they don't get dirty, so I don't lose them. All right, so we're headed down to the goat barn. Oh, let's show them that. Like, I think we could make this into a really nice area in this barn. Now that we have everything functional, it's time maybe to make things pretty. So we bought this bag of straps that people made. I'll show you. I think you should save this one for your new horse. I'll give that to Finn. I know, but no, Finn, Finn is not our horse anymore. No. So anyways, we found them. They're really cute. And they're long. Some of them are longer. And Sophie wants to try and make some into um, clip-on reins. But I thought these would make such good lead ropes for our horses. They're soft. I thought about lead ropes too, okay? Yeah. So did Sophie think of lead ropes. But aren't they cute? It's like such a fun material. And I have so many clips, so I can just sew the clips on. And then poof, we have all these new lead ropes. Not like we need a bunch of lead ropes, but these are such pretty colors. Oh like, look God. at how gorgeous that is. Uh, I know, Sophie picked that one first. She found it first, so she gets first pick, but I like them. It would be fun just to have extra lead ropes laying around. Super cute, I'm excited to do that. I'll show you guys later that I have a whole, I save every loop and clip and hook that I ever have on anything that breaks. So blankets and lead ropes and whatever, I save them all. So or, and we could even make these into leashes for the goats or even for the dogs, to be honest. Just something else to do in my spare time because I have so much spare time. <laughs> So he's still painting to be on and I'm still cook. I'm still baking. I'm making two more pies today But it is show prep day. Do you guys see how gorgeous? I will. Of course, it doesn't look as nice in the camera. Gorgeous Horses were, were here. Goats were here. Goats are here. Come on goats. We want to do some work with you. Come on. Look how cute with Storm and the girls at the background of the trees. Oh, it's raining. It's been like a dark dreary day. Oh, just stand by my feet. But I love it. I love this weather. We're about to have an actual heat wave again. Starting tomorrow. What, Lucy? What is the matter? What? She wants something. She's been screaming like that for five minutes. What's the problem? What's the problem, sister? She's like, I want to stay here. What? Did you miss us? This little pen today when I was out, it's a chalk pen. All right, so I'm gonna, we're gonna do some work with the horse's feet or the goat's feet today. So it is September. Oh my, oh my goodness. 29. 23. Does it sound like chalk? Feet. No, it feels, oops, it feels amazing. And then I can write over Wait, here. Yeah, like, let's put what they get over here. I love it. I can't draw hearts. Oh, it's so life. cute. Like this, I'm gonna get more of these. I just bought one. I wanted to try it and see how it works. It's like, it's like oil That's all pastels. I know how to draw, so. Spider webs. I hate chalk, so like that. I love this stuff. It is so cool. I don't know how it comes off. How does it come off? Oh, it's literally like chalk. Or it's literally like pastels. Uh oh. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it down here because I think it's good for like, I don't know where I can put it. I think it's good for like milking. You can write down how much you got off each dough and then you can copy it onto paper when you're ready. But it's just handy if it comes off. 
I spend so much time painting this little chalkboard. I've actually been using this stuff. This is going to be my birthing container. For This is going to be my birthing supplies for the goats. <laughs> He's biting you? Yes. He's just so happy. So uh, this is Rocky's first time ever on the milking stand. He's probably like, maybe you have your sexes wrong, Laura, but I do not get milked. But we're going to try and do his feet here. I actually, I actually got this little milk stand that was on the property when we moved here. And I'm going to use it. All right, I do not know who made this little stool, but it is way too low. <laughs> boy number one, done. We're going to wait and do our other boy <laughs> to the very we end. to go anywhere. The day we don't have to go anywhere. Because <laughs> he actually doesn't make you smell so bad. I don't even mind the smell. He's really sweet smelling. But anyway, um, I'm going to bring in one of the girls. I'm going to show you why it seems like we are doing their feet so often. All right, let him go. This milking stand, which I love more than anything. Molly wanted to hurt him. Molly wanted to hurt him. his ankles and everything. So, bring in Blossom. Yeah, bring in whoever you want. I just don't, I can't use it while it's up against there. I have to put it on an angle. We're going to definitely find a better spot for this, someplace that Blast, works come better. Come on, Blast. Come on. Get up on the table. Good girl. What a pro. Like, that is why we give them grain, and that is why we train them. The first time she learned there was grain in here, she was attacked. Yeah, she's so good. Okay, let's look at their feet. So while I have them up here, I always like touch their udder and touch all parts of them and check them over. But okay, so see, their feet are not bad. This is what they look like when we got them. Well, actually, they didn't look like this. But see how it's flat on the bottom here, but then there's this big puff at the top. So that's the part that I work on. And you can only take a little bit off each time you do it. So I'm, I've got her worked down. She used to have a really huge puff. So to do it, you can only do it like a little, take off a little bit each time. So I do it a bunch of times so that I'm only doing a little bit at a time. And then eventually she'll be good. And then I touch her udders. She's like, I don't really like it. <laughs> See, she's all squished. I touch all of her parts. And because these goats were not born to us and they, we had to, like, when we bought them, they were not, they were a little bit friendly. They would come to grain, but they didn't let us touch them ever. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what are you doing? But as you can see with how she climbed up on the thing, she's doing, they're doing really, really good, especially this one. I'll show you the moms. They're not as friendly. So the reason that we're trying to get all this stuff done now before winter happens is because once winter, winter happens, it'll be way too cold. Oh, look at that. <laughs> She loves Sophie. Um, but also, oh, girl. because, well, this one's not going to have a baby. Um, I want to get all this stuff done before they get pregnant. Like, right now is crunch time. We plan to get our two big does pregnant in Watch, December so that we can have May babies. Oh. And she's not going to want to go back in the Yeah, she won't want to go down. Is there a grain in her stall? No. You can put her in her stall if you want. Yeah. Um, so... What? The reason I want to do it now is because when they're pregnant, that's not the time to like ha to be working on good feet. It's better to have Holly heard her into the thing. good feet before you get pregnant. Trust me, I've been pregnant five times. I know what it feels like to be pregnant. And if you don't have your feet good, so this is a mom. She doesn't really love being touched. But I like to touch her udder. It's all dried up. It dried up really good. I like to lift up her feet. The babies are so much better. I'm going to show you the last mom and then I'm going to be done with this. I know you guys don't want to just watch us be trimming our goats. Oh, good girl. I know, she she really wants, she really wants the grain. Get in there. So this is Tilly and she's our lead goat and she does not like being touched I'm at all. Ursula. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie wants to rename her Ursula. <laughs> she, Sit. Thanks. She, her, see, I try and trim these too. I've been trimming these too. But this is actually pretty good because normally she tries to give me whiplash if I hold on. Did you see her? Sophie thinks that I'm not going to be able to milk, to milk this one because she's like really strong minded and really 
not friendly, but she's a really good little goat. I'm and I think little tiny minutes, just minutes at a time in here with a positive experience. Like I'm going to bring her in a couple more times now without touching her feet or anything at all. Just let her have grain and just really try and make it a positive experience because I want to be able to milk her for sure. All right. You're free. Come on. You have to get out. Let's see if you're smart. Wait, hold your dog first. Uh oh, you're not smart. You're not smart. <laughs> Dumb go. <laughs> That's smart. Like, who does that? Come on. Come on. Hey. Thank you. Come on. Heard her. <laughs> Molly's like, heard who? Oh, my dear. <laughs> Go, Allie, go. Allie, come here. Stay here. Go out. Come on. Go. <laughs> Why would you let her go? I thought she would jump down. Molly's a scaredy cat as soon as she gets free. Yeah. Molly, you're brave until they're free. Molly's like, I did it. Hi. Fortunately, we have this one. <laughs> that I made friendly. Yeah, she's friendly. I definitely don't think that that was a positive experience I was looking for for her. So we were going to do the buck, but since this has fallen off, all right, we can do it. Go get him. Just to clarify, I did not want her to jump through the through the neck part, and I didn't think it was a good thing. Luckily, she's not a pig. <laughs> Why does that matter? Because then she wouldn't have been able to fit. She would just hang. Oh, well, anyways, it was not a good situation. Yeah, you. <laughs> But I am the kind of person that will always laugh and make jokes and make the best of well, a bad situation. Like even if I was dying, I'd be laughing. It's just who I am. I always want to like have a light, look at things in a light way. I'm not going, I never want to be a serious person. For me, a laughing things off really helps look to lighten the mood. Oh, he just. And that's who I am. And it took me a long time to become that way. I didn't used to be like that. I used to be like <laughs> more serious. Oh my God. What are you doing? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Who's going to do it? Yep, yeah, that's what they do. As soon as you left, they jumped out and they ran around here. <laughs> There's one right at feet. They fly. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I don't want my kids to take life too seriously because that's no fun. All right, so. Look at their size comparison. He's way bigger, she's way smaller. Hopefully that doesn't mean, we really want this one to be a boy because I it's a pied. Be a I want it to be a boy, it'll be beautiful. Yeah, okay, so I want to give you guys a quick update. You guys know that this one had a twisted foot. The ankle was completely twisted and the foot turned in. Hey, this it has a little red spot on here on this foot and the other one keeps pecking it. So we put a band-aid on there to let it heal so that this one won't keep pecking it. But anyways, um, we fixed the ankle. It's com his, Her foot is completely straight now. So now the foot was all turned in. And so now we're fixing the foot. Make sure it's doing like a million times better. It's almost completely fixed. If this can stay on for like three days, I bet you she'll be good. She's falling asleep. She's I know. Like, oh, She's like, I... oh, play with my feet. <laughs> she falls but anyway, when she gets held. They are super sweet. I did not expect pea fowl to actually be this engaging and this sweet. They fall asleep on Sophie. She puts them in her hands and holds them. They're literally the cutest little things. This one look at, look at, just wait, let's show it. It's sound asleep in her hands. Isn't that insane? Honestly though, look at it. She just falls asleep when Sophie holds her. <laughs> and the She's other one's like, asleep. Aww. They're actually really cute. Who can guess what time it is? <laughs> it is time for Ellie love. It's time to get the horse trailer ready for the horse show. I hear the baby goat, a little boy, Rocky, down there crying for me every time he hears me. Sam's so cleaning out the tag trunk. Whoa, what the heck? You're cleaning out the tag trunk? Yeah, I found that clip you were missing. Where was it? It was in this basket. Here, did you give it to them? Yeah. All right. Uh, we got stuff in here we don't need. Like, I leave extra shoes in there just in case. I mean, they don't fit her, but. <laughs> I used to get so like worked up over over show prep because it was always me that had to like do so much of it, but now 
Yeah. <laughs> I used to braid horses too. But yeah, I never used to. Long neck. You can fit like 36 braids in it. I know. So I'm not saying that you guys didn't help. You did help. But here's the thing, when you're the mom, you have to do the helping of the horses and get them ready when your kids are young. And then you have to like pack lunches, you have to get yourself ready, which means like a shower. You have to make sure the kids have everything packed. You have to like double check everything. It's like extra work for moms. Moms always have to do extra, but now I I'm- I remember you were scared of horses. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember when I was scared of horses? She screams and pushes me in front of her. <laughs> Don't do that. The horse comes running. You hide behind me and push me. <laughs> Don't do that. Fair, I do the same thing. <laughs> so keep everyone's up. Because nobody's gonna come from past Gabby, that's for sure. Listen to that baby boy go. Anyway, tonight I am gonna help by cleaning tack. Oh yeah, clean my tack. I'm gonna clean your tack. Where's your tack? Trailer. And where's I Julia's clean. tack? Oh, you want the white stuff? No, it's in my boot bag. It's oh, okay. Just a cleaner, you spray it on, let it sit for a little bit, wipe it off. Go okay. Up. All right, I'll bring it and ask you if what it is. Ellie, how many times do you guys think a day I scream at Ellie? <laughs> Ellie, get over here! Because she chases every single thing that moves. Come on! She thinks that they're having fun with her. No, Ellie, come on! <laughs> She literally thinks that they're all just loving her. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay out here by myself and clean saddles. Where's Julia's saddle? The round bale is coming. Yeah. So we're gonna put the thing on it. Yeah, we're gonna bring it over there. We're turning it around, people, you guys. It's not my favorite way to feed horses, but we're gonna do it for this winter and we're gonna see how it goes. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but everybody came to see the round bale. <laughs> started rolling down the hill, and then uh, Honey was on the opposite side. Wow. So we got a net. We gotta try and figure this out. Everybody's coming now. They're all like, wow. <laughs> so funny when all your animals come and they're excited to see what's happening. And he's like, let me be the first one to bite it. <laughs> she really wants to. See how curious she is though? She's never really had the scariest experience of her life is storm. That's what's going to be life now, sister. The goose and the duck want to see? Like, these are the bravest ones. You guys are all chickens. <laughs> see how brave she is though? Do you think it's like personality or do you think it's just that she's never had a bad experience? She trusts in her environment. <laughs> Wait, we gotta take that thing off. Don't eat that. Don't eat it. Wait, <laughs> she's helping me. She knows what it is. Wow, she knows how it works. <laughs> oh my gosh. They all let they all let honey try it first. Hay bale number one, and it's already been a success. Everybody's here to try it out. They all like it. Storm and Penny haven't tried it yet. Penny's inching closer though. This is kind of cool. Like we don't have to worry about people running out of hay. All right. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> I 
that's food. Uh-oh. So that's what I'm worried about with Storm and his shoes. Oh, don't eat the bag. I've had a lot of dumb issues today. Here, look. You just grab some. There. That's it. That's all you do. She's like, thanks, Laura. <laughs> I got your back, Pen. I got your back. And then you do it again. This is like a rite of passage. This is our first time. And like, how many years have we had horses? Six years? First time ever with a round bale. <laughs> oh, she's got it. She gets it now. And Honey's just gonna try and claw it. Honey, that's not good. See, that's what you get your foot. Nobody died tomorrow, Sam says. We're all excited. It's literally our first ever round bale. You like it? I had to show Penny how to work it. <laughs> Everybody's dumb today. She's like, who are you calling dumb? I know you're not dumb, Penny. You like it? So there's a couple of issues with it. Sam's going to build a stand so that it doesn't get rained on. And it's kind of on a hill. I don't know if you guys saw, but Honey almost got taken out by a round bill. <laughs> and um, Storm is food territorial. I mean, Penny is too. So I don't know, between all these ones, hopefully they can all find a spot. If not, we might get a hay hut. Hopefully they all learn to share together. Look, she's, she's a good size. This little baby, almost the same size as their mom. <laughs> Look at over there. <laughs> Get her big bed. I love it. It makes me so happy. I don't know why we didn't do this sooner. Look at everybody sharing. <laughs> She had her ears pinned back to tell the goats to get out of her way. Oh, You're supposed to be the prettiest pony ever, but you just look like a slob. Don't kick me. Alright, let's go see how show prep is going. Okay, Storm's braids look terrible and they're all different shapes and sizes and everything, but it's okay. Stormy boy, it's like Christmas outside. <laughs> You're missing it all. Wait till you see. He's licking his lips. He's like, I don't know. So is he done? Yeah. He's like, oh, you guys got smart and got one of these net things. I hate him. Storm's the only one I'm worried about with the net. But like I said, Sam's gonna put, he's building something for it. Gracie's the last one to be there. I love watching our animals like be inquisitive. I might do something for the boys too. The boy goats. Yeah, he's done. He's gonna get his slinky. I'll go get your slinky. All right, that is it you guys. I'm gonna end this vlog because I have to have a shower get ready for tomorrow and we still have a lot to do before we wake up at 4 a.m. because this family is gonna beat the barn boots family for the last for the second last horse show of the season see you guys there Don't you know that you're beautiful?